नमस्कार मित्रांनो माय बेस्ट गुरु चॅनल मध्ये आपले मनापासून स्वागत आम्हाला प्रोत्साहन देण्यासाठी सबस्क्राईब बटन वर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राईब करून आम्हाला मदत करा म्हणजे आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी घेऊन येऊ जास्तीत जास्त व्हिडिओ तसेच आमच्या नवीन व्हिडिओ चे नोटिफिकेशन मिळण्यासाठी घंटीच्या चित्रावर क्लिक करा Hello friends today we'll learn chapter number 17 introduction to biotechnology important topics in this lesson tissues animal tissues and plant tissues tissue culture agri tourism agri business Question number 1 Each of the following statements is wrong rewrite them correctly by hanging either one or two words Point A Simple squamous epithelium is present in respiratory tract Answer ciliated epithelium is present in respiratory tract B glandular epithelium is present in kidneys answer glandular epithelium is present in kidneys c clod enchyma helps the plants to float in water answer erenchyma helps the plant to float in water d striated muscles are also called involuntary muscles answer striated muscles are also called voluntary muscles point e chloroplast is present in permanent tissues answer chloroplast answer chloroplast is present in chloroenchyma tissue Question number 2 Identify the odd word and explain why it is odd Point A Xylem phloem permanent tissue meristematic tissue Answer meristematic tissue Explanation Meristematic tissue has ability to divide and others have lost their ability to divide point b epithelium muscle fiber nerve fiber epidermis answer epidermis explanation epidermis is a plant tissue and others are animal tissues point c cartilage bone tendon cardiac muscles answer cardiac muscle explanation cardiac muscle is a muscular tissue and other are connective tissue question number 3 write the names of the following tissues point a tissue lining inner surface of mouth answer squamous epithelium b tissue joining muscles and bones answer tendons c tissue responsible for increasing height of plants answer apical meristem d tissue responsible for increasing girth of stem answer lateral meristem Question number 4 write the differences simple tissue and complex tissues in plants number simple tissue complex tissue point number 1 simple tissues are made up of only one type of cells 
complex tissues are made up of more than one type of cells number 2 they perform many functions they perform function of conduction of food and water number 3 example epithelial tissue of animals meristematic tissue of plants example blood of animals xylem and phloem of plants question number 5 write short notes point a meristematic tissue answer as meristematic tissue is present in specific parts of a plant growth occurs in those parts only cells of meristematic tissue contain thick cytoplasm a conspicuous nucleus and a thin cell wall and are compactly packed together vacuoles are usually absent in these cells these cells are highly active to bring about plant growth is the main function of meristematic tissue according to the location meristematic tissue is of three types as given below apical meristem located at the tip of the root and the stem increases the length of the root and stem intercalary meristem located at the base of the petiole of leaves and of branches function growth of branches formation of leaves and flowers lateral meristem located at the lateral sides of root and stem increases girth into bracket diameter of the root and stem b xylem answer xylem is a type of transport tissue in vascular plants which transports water and soluble mineral nutrients from the roots of the plant to various parts the main function of xylem is to transport water from the roots to the various parts of the plant which is necessary for the proper functioning of the plant point number c striated muscles answer muscle cells are long cylindrical multinucleate and have no branches structure there are alternate dark and light bands on these muscles at they are attached to bones they are also called skeletal muscles they move as per our will hence they are called voluntary muscles function these muscles bring about movements of arms and legs running speaking etc note number d agro complementary business answer point number 1 in agro complementary business refer to a complementary good or services that is used with agriculture number 2 the example of agro complementary business are animal husbandry poultry farming and sericulture 3 agro complementary business are mainly carried out to produce high yielding breed and desirable quality and for economic benefit 4 animals husbandry is practice for milk production and the cattle is used for farming 5 poultry farming is done for the rearing of egg and meat 6 sericulture is done for rearing of silk note number e genetic engineering answer 
बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इंक्लूड्स द टेक्निक्स ऑफ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग एंड टिश्यू कल्चर इट्स यूजेस आर इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कैश क्रॉप्स इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ वराइटीज ऑफ कैश क्रॉप्स इंक्रीज इन एबिलिटीज ऑफ प्लांट्स टू विदस्टैंड एनवायरमेंटल स्ट्रेसेस वैक्सीन प्रोडक्शन अर्ली डायग्नोसिस ऑफ कंजेनाइटल डिसीजेस ऑर्गन ट्रांसप्लांट कैंसर रिसर्च प्रोडक्शन ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल स्कीन कार्टिलेज एक्सेट्रा इन लैबोरेटरीज नोट नंबर एफ सेरिकल्चर एंसर पॉइंट नंबर वन सिल्क वॉम्स इन टू ब्रैकेट मॉन्स आर रियर्ड फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सिल्क बॉम्बिक्स मोरी is the most commonly used variety for this purpose to the life cycle of the silk moth consists of four stages namely egg larva pupa and adult point number 3 thousands of eggs deposited by female moths are incubated artificially to shorten the incubation period larvae hatching out of eggs are released on mulberry plants larvae are nourished by feeding on mulberry leaves so after feeding for 3 4 days larvae move to branches of mulberry plant the silk thread is formed from the secretion of their salivary glands larvae spin this thread around themselves to form a cocoon the cocoon may be spherical in shape number 5 10 days before the pupa turns into an adult all the cocoons are transferred into boiling water due to the boiling water the pupa dies in the cocoon and silk fibers become loose these fibers are unwound processed and reeled various kinds of fabric is woven from silk threads question number 6 explain the meaning of biotechnology and its impact on agricultural management with suitable examples answer the techniques of bringing about improvements in living organisms by artificial genetic changes and by hybridization for the welfare of human beings are together called biotechnology it includes the techniques of genetic engineering and tissue culture point number 1 genetically modified crops into bracket gm crops are being produced by introducing changes in dna of natural crops normally such varieties are not found in nature thus new varieties are produced artificially different useful characters are introduced in such varieties to ability to withstand environmental stress some naturally occurring varieties cannot withstand environmental stresses like frequently changing temperature wet and dry famines changing climate etc however gm crops can grow in any of such adverse conditions three as gm crops are resistant to insect pest pathogens chemical weedicides etc the use of harmful chemicals like pesticides can be avoided four due to use of seeds of gm crops there is improvement in nu- nutritive value and decrease in loss of crops Question number 7 which two main techniques are used in biotechnology why answer the two main techniques 
of biotechnology are genetic engineering and tissue culture its uses are in production of cash crops improvement in varieties of cash crops increasing abilities of plants to withstand environmental stresses vaccine production early diagnosis of congenital diseases organ transplant cancer research production of artificial skin cartilage etc in laboratories point number 1 genetic engineering is being produced by introducing changes in dna of natural crops normally such varieties are not found in nature thus new varieties are produced artificially different useful characters are introduced in such varieties point number 2 ex vivo growth of cells or tissues in an aseptic and nutrient rich medium is called tissue culture nowadays a complete organism can be developed from a single cell or from tissue with help of the tissue culture technique question number 8 discuss agro tourism in the class and write a project on an agro tourism center nearby present it in the class in groups answer agro tourism as it is defined as agriculturally based operation or activity that brings visitors to farm or a ranch into bracket it is project based questions students should visit nearby agro tourism center question number 9 define the term tissue and explain the concept of tissue culture answer at the top center point source plant it gives bulk form of source plant then it undergoes primary treatment and then it gives or it proceeds to reproduction or multiplication then it proceeds and gives shooting and rooting then it proceeds towards the primary hardening then it proceeds and gives secondary hardening and final stage again it gives the source plant this is the tissue culture cycle a group of cells having the same origin same structure and same function is called tissue ex vivo growth of cells or the tissues in an aseptic and nutrient rich medium is called tissue culture nowadays a complete organism can be developed from a single cell or from tissue with help of the tissue culture technique a liquid solid or gel like medium prepared from agar which supplies nutrients and energy necessary for tissue culture is used in this technique tissue culture can be used to grow those plants on a large scale which bear flowers fruits of excellent quality question number 10 rearing of sheep is a livestock justify this statement answer point number 1 livestock refers to the domestication of animals for profit point number 2 sheep gives us meat wool and skin which has more demand throughout the world hence rearing of sheep is a livestock आम्हाला प्रोत्साहन देण्यासाठी सबस्क्राईब बटन वर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राईब करून आम्हाला मदत करा म्हणजे आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी घेऊन येऊ जास्तीत जास्त व्हिडिओ
तसेच आमच्या नवीन व्हिडिओचे नोटिफिकेशन मिळण्यासाठी घंटीच्या चित्रावर क्लिक करा